Hello everyone, another day, another post bag video. Got lots of items through from AliExpress. Uh, so we'll go through them in a minute. As always, I will open them up, explain what they are and what I'm gonna be using them for. And I will put a link to the items in the description below. And where possible, the links will be an affiliate link. So if you click on that link and go through to AliExpress and purchase anything, I will get a little kickback. And that'll help me, help this channel and it'll also help do more of these post bag videos uh, and everybody's happy. So um, let's go take a look at the items. Okay, let's just get stuck in. Well, two parcels which look identical. Okay. Lots of packaging. Wow. Uh -huh. These are actually on one order, um, but for some reason the seller sent them as two separate packages. Maybe it was cheaper or free. Lots of packaging, which is good. What are they? If I can ever get into them. Okay. These are two. These were two PIR sensors, infrared sensors. Um, I think they're the same model. Um, slightly different set up on the circuit board but essentially they detect for infrared movement usually human movement and they will send a on signal through one of these signal pins um, I don't know if you check on my Instagram uh, page you can see a picture I did of an OLED screen uh, which was a temperature gauge but it's actually got burning wow. uh, so the idea was to use one of these and to turn the screen off when there's no activity detected. Uh, lots of different versions of this. I've got a big one and I've got these two small ones. Not quite sure what all the differences are, so I'm going to experiment. And this shield is basically spreads the heat image so it's easy for the sensor to pick it up uh, and it comes off. But that's the actual sensor. And then the circuit board triggers the signal. Pretty cool. Next one. Grinding bit one electronic part. Well, I didn't order a grinding bit. Again, well wrapped. Ooh, all sorts. But here, aha, we've got some voltage regulators. These are L7805. So these are 5 volt regulators. Uh, never really used any regulators yet, but I like to give them a go. Um, little embedded projects. Uh -huh. This is a little module display. It has a seven segment character displays. On the back there is the microcontroller chip, the temperature sensor, a couple of buttons, and a like a battery or supercapacitor to keep uh, keep some memory. And it's basically a clock, a temperature gauge, and it's also a voltmeter as well, apparently. Uh, and using the two buttons on the top, you can program this uh, to be a little digital clock to measure the temperature and to also measure voltage with the voltage in. Really cheap, nice little module, something to play with. Maybe create a 3D printed enclosure. 
and it comes with a cable. What is this tiny little thing? It is the BME 280. Uh, so it is a temperature and humidity sensor. Very tiny, super tiny. That's going into one of my projects instead of the Dallas, the big white Dallas one. These are 20 AMS 1117 voltage regulators, 3.3 voltage regulators. Uh, this is a, one of an ongoing bigger project where I want to try a bit of SMD soldering, some surface mount soldering instead of through hole. Again, these are really cheap. Huh. This is a rain sensor for an Arduino or microcontroller. Basically, it detects water drops going across this grid pattern and you connect it to your microcontroller and I believe the signal goes high uh, when it's detected something and you control your projects with that. This is a small voltage meter. version 3.01 basically a mini volt meter um, put on your projects connect it to the voltage and it will tell you on the seven segment display what the voltage is what is this this is a surface mount testing kit yeah basically I'm wanting to uh, do some circuit board design for little embedded projects uh, but instead of using large through hole components, I was wanting to see if I could use some uh, SMD surface mount um, resistors and capacitors and LEDs. Uh, so this is just a test board. I believe it actually functions as well. It creates a, what AliExpress and the Chinese like to call water flow lights. And it's just circular lights. There's a few uh, integrated circuits and you basically practice solving on the, uh, some capacitors, uh, some resistors, some diodes, uh, and you get a little project at the end of it. Yeah, cool little kit that. Next up. Aha, following on with the kit, according to all YouTube videos and online resources, for surface mount soldering, the key and the magic is a good flux pen. So I purchased this off AliExpress. Uh, you basically put the flux where you want to solder and it just helps the solder to flow in the right areas and apparently makes the job a lot easier. Very cheap this, I think it's £1.50, something like that. And the last one. Nothing else. Again, very well wrapped. Okay. Yeah, I think I ordered all these uh, infrared sensors when I was a bit drunk. These are actually the actual sensors themselves, but they have no circuit board. Um, I'm not sure why I bought these. A moment of madness. But they will always go in the part drawer. Okay. So these two are also surface mount component test boards. Right. You get the actual circuit board. You get a bunch of resistors, capacitors, uh, LEDs, some little chips. Same on this one, and you practice soldering. Um, I think this one is just a test board. Various resistors, capacitors, different sizes, 
1206, 805. Um, yeah, it's interesting to see how small I can go uh, with my shaky hands and my average soldering technique. And I believe this one is similar to this one. Uh, that it is, you actually have a finished kit at the end of it, and again, I think it's just the old flowing water light spinning LEDs. So it just does help to check that your work is actually functional work as well. So it comes with some instructions as well. So, yeah, that's some, a lot of work, lots of soldering. These. To go with my surface mount soldering collection, uh, a set of 60603 uh, LEDs, various colours, red, green, blue and yellow, uh, just to see if I can solder these tiny, tiny, tiny LEDs. And last but not least. Lots of these. What are these? Yes, these are AMS 1117 voltage regulators, 3.3 voltage regulators. If I can't solder these, then I will use these in my projects. I want to get some more ESP8266 projects finished and uh, functional and that chip needs 3.3 volts so usually you're powering it from a USB socket so these little uh, breakout boards are very handy, very quick, very cheap. I think I've got 10 of them for, uh, I think it's about a pound, so literally like 10p, 20p each, which how you can make that for 20p and ship it halfway across the world, I have no idea. That is the post bag for today. Thanks very much guys.